Hi everyone and welcome to Tasting with Thompson. I'm Eric. I'm Jess. And today we are tasting things from our Universal Yum Box. From Thailand! So we've already put up a video that has the uh, savory half of what we got in our box. Uh, we get the Super Yum Box, so uh, it's I think one of the bigger versions they have. This is the biggest box they got. So um, it's just fun to get a lot of random stuff. So if you get a smaller version of this, you won't necessarily get all the stuff that we get, uh, but you will get some of it. They have a small box, they have a medium box, and they have a large box. So depending on you know how hungry you are, your budgets... Or how many people live in your house. Good call. Uh, or how many of your normal snacks you want to replace with random international snacks. It's a gamble. Um, now, one quick thing is that in the description below... There's going to be uh, a link to our referral for the Unbox. Now, we're not sponsored. We don't receive any money or anything from them. It's just something that we have done for a long time and that we enjoy. And recently, we started sharing it with some friends. So if you want to use that link, we'll get $5 off, and you'll get $5 off. And once you've signed up, you can use your own link and send that to friends, and the same thing will happen. It's nothing special just for us. Just perpetuate the yum. Share the food. Share the goodness. Um, so, we ready to get into it? Let's do it. All right. Move this out of the way to show some of the nice uh, sweet snacks that we've got in this. The way Jess and I have always done this is uh, one person will choose what snack they want, uh, and then the next person will choose what we try next, and so on going back and forth. So, uh, I guess the question is, which do you want to try first? I want to get that sour out of the way. Um, <laughs> he is a big fan of sour. sour. I'm not. So I'm probably going to whine while I eat this. All right. So what does the book say this is? Um. There is a... The Sour Punk Candy Stick Blueberry. They're gummy straws. <laughs> There's a very punk kind of person drawn on the package because it's sour it's edgy all right <laughs> cheers <Yeah>, cheers <laughs> it's a very uh chewy texture for a gummy like it's a lot harder i think than your standard kind of gummy straw they're not really sour but they're also not good They taste like, I mean, so they, they remind me of something that I've had before, but I can't quite put my finger on what. Um, it's a really artificial flavor. I guess I get to eat this one. Uh, it is not sour, though. Um, not really at all. Yeah, the ingredients are sugar, glucose syrup, wheat flour, palm oil, malic acid, artificial flavors, blue one, red 40. So yeah, the blueberry flavor is completely artificial, and that's why these suck. <laughs> yeah, they'll manage. They're all yours, honey. I'm okay with that. What are you, what are you going to rank them? So we, we do a tasting scale that is uh, 0 to 5. Um, and we use a single decimal point. Okay, uh, so they're not the cheese straws. <laughs> it's probably my least favorite of all time. Uh, probably get these like a one and a half. Because like, they're bad, but they're not cheese straw bad. <laughs> I would gladly sit down with a pack of these if I wanted something that was sweet and like a kind of gummy candy. Um, the texture is not necessarily my favorite, but I don't dislike them. It's still so. stuck in my tooth. <laughs> I'll give them a three and a half. All right. These are all yours. All for me. Um, I am going to, do you want to keep moving on the gummies and get those out of the way? It's your pick. <laughs> Whatever you want. Whatever I want. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm gonna follow my uh, follow my heart with my follow my your pick, heart. and go for the one that scares me the most, so that we can get it out of the way. And I think in the sweet section here, 
the one that wins for that is the uh, sticky rice snack. I just want to say that packaging looks like the same packaging as some wet cat food. Because <laughs> cat cat food comes in like these packages with a little like rip offs on the top like this, and then you squirt out like stinky meat. I really wish you would have described that after we had tried it. You're welcome. Not before and not during. After. He's a men- one of the many services I provide. Right. So I have nuked these in the microwave for 15 seconds, as was advised in the old book. I'm. Mm. It's always a little, it makes me a little worried if you have to microwave this kind of snack food. I mean, you don't have to. It just says you should. <laughs> that, that you need to. It says to enjoy this yum like a true local, heat it in the microwave for 15 seconds. It is like napalm. It's very sticky. And it smells like not much. I do not like the texture. It's not bad. I'm not tasting this filling like at all. I'm not really getting much flavor. I get a little coconut. It just tastes like rice with sugar. Maybe some kind of dairy product. It's it's this kind of like gelatinous texture to it. The texture is kind of weird, but I don't mind the taste. I feel like whenever I try to bite down, everything I'm trying to bite down like moves out of the way. And then when I open my mouth again, it kind of moves to fill the gap that my teeth just were in. It's like pudding. Yeah. It's like pudding, but with chunks. Chunky pudding. Like tapioca pudding. I mean, rice pudding. Rice pudding. Uh, It just... It's not my thing. The flavor is... The flavor is meh. And the texture is just not for me. I'm... I'm not mad at it. I'll give it... I am a little. I'll give it a 3.25. It's it's slightly above some of the other stuff, but not by much. Bringing in an extra decimal for this Extra decimal. Okay. Um, To counter that average out, I will give it a... uh, 2.25. 2.25. There you go. And that way it'll average out uh, to be one decimal point. It's definitely better than the shrimp mayo seaweed stick. There are lots of things that are better than the yeah. shrimp mayo seaweed stick. <laughs> so that means I will stick with my blueberry candy and you get to enjoy the rest of that. All right. That is the end for our two videos for our yum box. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, do the YouTube things. Do the things! Um, we'll be back tasting random stuff. Um, if the, you, the things we're tasting next are so random, even we don't know what it is. Because we haven't prepared that far. If you have any ideas of things you would want us to try, uh, feel free to put it down in the comments. Leave us a comment. Just let us know. There's this nasty ass thing. Oh, maybe we shouldn't put that idea under their heads. You're the worst. <laughs> I know I am. If there is <laughs> random stuff that you want us to try, um, let us know, uh, and we'll check it out. We have no food allergies, so anything, um, anything that would not kill an average person. We might develop some food allergies depending we will on what not, you suggest. We will not consume battery acid. Why are you looking at me like that? I am just informing the audience of what we will not consume. Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Tasting with Thompson.